Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor and I want to show you a really cool improvement. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't design this, I actually got it from the CNC manufacturer, but we, uh, we bought our new CNC here. Uh, we're in a temporary location and you can tell this is a really small place and we didn't have room for a full auto load and unload system like we had before because we just don't have the space for it. I was really concerned about it. They showed me a little video and I was amazed at how simple this is. Let me show you what we've got. So here in front of our CNC, we've got our material lift and I actually have uh, two bollards that I'd made for our previous CNC. So you bring in the material that it, it, it locates it is what you'll notice on top of here is we've got uh, a caster on that. This is a Harbor Freight caster. And then we've got four more posts here. These are just Lowe's uh, Home Depot gate posts or fence posts that are bolted to the floor. And on the top of it, it's got these casters on here. So I got a, I think the posts were 15 bucks and about five bucks for the rollers. We got four of them. So uh, we got about a hundred bucks worth of a, uh, equipment here. These simple parts make it nice and easy to handle the product. You can see my guy here loading on a sheet of material. This is a four by eight sheet of material, slides it right on, slides across the top of the fence and into position with no effort. When the machine's done, it pushes the parts off the table and he's ready and loads another sheet on and we're back to running parts again in no time flat. So when we ordered this machine, we needed it right away. And one of the things they didn't have in stock was the offload conveyor belt. So we made do, uh, found on Craigslist, this four foot by 10 foot wide set of roller conveyors. We built those, on, put those on a table at the end of the CNC. So when it's done processing the parts, the pusher bar comes down and it pushes the parts off onto the roller conveyor. Built a little trough underneath there that's on an angle so all the sawdust falls through the rollers and drops down in there. The parts come out nice and clean. One of the benefits of this setup is there's no safety on here. And so when the, the sheet is done processing, it's going to push it off regardless of what is left on the conveyor. Our last machine, you had to push a button for it to unload and it wouldn't push anything off it if, if there was uh, parts in the safety beam on the conveyor. Is what had happened is sometimes the, the machine would sit idle for several minutes while guys were off doing other things. Now with this setup, they know that that conveyor has to be empty because it's going to push it off or push it off on the floor if there's parts on it. So guess what? They're hustling a little harder and getting stuff done and we're moving a lot more parts through the, the shop when we're running with it.